hope, you know, to be an Ebert someday, you know, uh, hopefully better dressed Ebert. Faculty of Arts and Humanities. Unique study options. Critical thinkers. Independent minds. First of all, we really, our class size is small. This is a big, big plus. We have not abandoned the principle that there's got to be a close interaction between the faculty member and the student. I actually just spent the whole entire month of June in uh, participating in a program at the Harlow campus, which is located in Old Harlow, England. It's really great. Uh, Mon is one of, I think, only two universities that has a, a campus in Europe. We went to London every day. I saw 14 plays. Uh, and it was really cool. It was with uh, Don Nickel of the English Department, who was mar uh, married to Mary Walsh. So I got to go with Mary Walsh and do creative writing satire and do our own satirical sketch, which we performed at the end of it. So it was absolutely amazing experience to, you know, not just do this really unique program that was in, in England, but to do it with this, you know, someone who's not typically someone that students would get to work with. She's not a professor. She's not an instructor. Mun was so cool. It was really amazing experience for me. What we do is relevant for a community and the community knows that their interests and their needs are being responded in, in our research and our activities. I think we have some of the most fabulous landscapes in the world, but ones that are not well known except obviously by people who, who live there or by prehistoric peoples who used to obviously roam all over the province. The people of Labrador are interested in what are the impacts of climate change on say the natural resources and, and the fish or the hunting or berry picking. We spend a lot of time talking to those people about how they have adapted in the past because climate is always changing. Well what sort of changes have you seen in your lifetime? How has climate changed? How have you adapted to that change? Because we have got to remember that people have been living in Labrador for 9,000 years. They've They've seen all sorts of climate and environmental change and they've very, been very successful at adapting to it. So I think some of the lessons that we need to learn about future climate change and adapting to it comes from the past. Because we are in a larger university with all these different programs which are happening simultaneously, that our students take, get the advantage of interacting with biologist or you know community health or you know in uh, in business school so that kind of interaction is possible here different languages have different ways of looking at things that you necessarily wouldn't think of yourself so um, I like thinking about things in new ways when I started at Memorial University I thought that I was going to do political science and I was also doing other language courses at the same time. I was doing French and Spanish, but I'd always wanted to try Russian because it seemed challenging, and it is. <laughs> so I took a few courses in Russian, and there's a program that allowed you to go there for the summer, so I went. And just to be able to go there and order your food and ask for directions. I want to travel, and I want to speak languages. And if I get a job that will allow me to interact with languages and hopefully to travel to places where they speak the languages that I'm interested in, that would be my ultimate goal. Memorial University Faculty of Arts and Humanities. The road to higher awareness. <laughs>